Hey you guys and welcome back to Being Real Light. I'm so excited you guys are here and I have a very good, encouraging, powerful word for you guys. And so let's pray and get right into this word. Father God, we just thank you for today. We thank you for your mercies that come new every single morning, Father God. We thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you, Lord, that you're a father of provision, of goodness, Father God, that you lead us through your truth and in your truth, through your spirit, Father God, to what is for us and what it is you've called for us in this very hour. I pray that you just release us of any unlawful thoughts, Father God, any unclean thoughts. I pray right now that you allow us to come before you, Lord, with clean hearts and clean hands. We repent of our sins. Father God, humble us today and build our confidence in you today to keep speaking your word boldly in faith and in your faithfulness. In Jesus' name, we plead your blood over this word, over whoever's watching this and listening to this. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So um, I'm excited, you guys, because I just feel like God is moving in such a big way. And I know you probably hear that all the time, or maybe like you've been hearing it for quite some time now, but I really believe that when you're walking in the abundance and the provision of God, that he is just speaking to you all the time. God speaks to us in all ways so that we don't miss anything. And the thing is, you can't miss anything when you're being led by the Holy Spirit. You, One thing the enemy tries to tackle us down with is fear. If he can get us to fear by using thoughts that are not clean, whether it's like bringing fear and anxiety, which these are his fruits, right? We have um, the fruits of the Holy Spirit, which is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, for uh, faithfulness, goodness, meekness, long suffering, self control. The enemy has his own characteristics, y'all. He has everything opposite of the fruits of the Spirit. So if God is love, he's hate. If God is peace, then he is um, in in patience, and he wants us to walk in pride and arrogance. And this is this message is not to credit the enemy because he has no room here. But it is to expose him. God says we are called to expose those things of the darkness through his light. Amen. And so I want to share this encouraging word with you guys because I feel like there could be so many of us that are stuck in moments of thinking too much. Our thinking patterns. God wants to remove us out of thinking patterns of our flesh. He wants us to have a kingdom mindset, a kingdom perspective. And in, in order to do that, you have to know who God is. You have to know his character. You have to know his identity, right? God calls us to be in his image. And so for you to have a kingdom perspective, you have to be willing to put down your own perspective. You have to be willing to put away your own flesh. You have to be willing to kill the flesh, deny your flesh. You know, God talks about that. Deny your flesh, pick up your cross and follow me. And I don't know about you guys, but following God, following the Holy Spirit is the best decision I've ever made. It's the best decision that you've ever made or maybe that you're you're thinking of making. Maybe this wasn't taught to you. You know, I have a lot of people that are in the faith, but there's people that I'm realizing that are coming from backgrounds of, this is new to me. And I know that God is doing amazing things in our lives. You know, he, God doesn't just come for the saved. He doesn't come for just for the healed. God comes for the broken, for the sick, for those that are lost because he loves his children so much. He requires that from us. He requires from us to be in those same characteristics, right? Character and integrity is the most important thing because you can't put money on it. You cannot pay to, you can't purchase integrity. You can't purchase wisdom. You cannot pur purchase your character, your identity. You have to walk in it. You have to change your, change your perspective. You got to change some patterns, some habits. And we do that by holding on to God, his word, his faithfulness, his goodness, his meekness, long suffering, self-control. And so you guys, this word is so powerful. You know, the way God was showing it to me, it's like, man, Yes, you have to have faith is number one, most important, but you have to have a mindset on Christ. He says, fix your, your, your mind on the things of above. Put your heart on the things of above because God will never lie to you. God will never change upon you. Maybe your friends change upon you. Maybe your family doesn't talk to you, but God will never change. God tell, he tells us he saves the orphans. He literally takes us in and he makes us a new creation in him because we are not called to stay the same. We are called to go from glory to glory with the Lord. I feel like preaching in this car, y'all. So I want to share this with you guys because it's one thing to have 
a comprehension, a perspective of your own. I know I'm learning this every day. But it is the gift of wisdom from God that he gives to you to walk in his abundance. And the thing is that God doesn't hold anything back from us. We get in our own way by thinking, maybe it's this way. Maybe it's this way. Maybe he wants me to do it like this. But in reality, God's just saying, it's not that difficult. With God, we don't have to strive. With God, we don't have to force and stress and be anxious. He says, do not be anxious about anything. But in everything, pray. He says, pray without stopping. Pray without seizing you guys. Pray in everything. When you're not sure, pray about it. When you're excited, pray and thank him. God wants us to be in the spirit at all times, acknowledging him for he is glorious in our lives, you guys. I want to encourage somebody with this word today. Keep your perspective on God and God alone. It's easy to hear different opinions, especially when you know people around you mean well. I think a lot of times when you listen to too many voices, sometimes it squeezes God out in a way where it's like, okay, God, you said this, but I'm hearing this. And so it's very important that God's voice is number one in your life. God does send help people to help you. And by help, I mean praying with you, standing in agreement with you, people that are going to be humble with you, but never get ahead of God, you know? Um, and so uh, this perspective, God, this mindset of God that he's wanting us to walk into, it's of provision, of his abundance. A lot of people, a lot of Christians get spooked out with the word abundance, but in reality, abundance is the kingdom of God that who he dwells within us. God tells us he supplies our every need according to his riches and glory. That is abundance. His abundance is his peace in our life. His abundance is the fruits of the Holy Spirit. His abundance, it's salvation in the Lord, having grace and mercy from our father that we may be able to walk in the abundance of his characteristics of his love of his joy you guys today you can ask for joy today you can ask for peace today you can ask for hope today you can ask for god to continue to bring courage and boldness to you for you to walk confidently confidently in the fruits of his spirit there's many gifts god is unfolding in every single person that's watching this God has a plan for your life. I'm speaking to somebody today. God has a plan for your life. There is purpose behind your name. But you have to stop doubting yourself. You have to stop doubting what you, what you, the things you've gone through. You're taking that into this very hour. And God's saying, release that to him. Give it to him and know he's faithful. He is God. He is sovereign. He's seated on his throne. God wants us to walk as royal children. We serve a king king of kings he is a king of kings and, and lord of lords that means that if my father is a king that means i'm a daughter of the king of the only king of the one and true king so i'm gonna hold myself up through my integrity my character and god is my identity found in jesus when satan's telling me one thing god is like that's not gonna happen what god says goes he is so amazing you guys and um i think confidence True confidence comes from knowing your identity in Christ, knowing that he is good and faithful and that you don't lack a thing. And so, like I always say, where God guides, he provides, no matter what the case may be. If God's sending you somewhere, if God's having you to do something, stepping out in faith, maybe this is coming out of your comfort zone, it's because he has a plan for your life and you have to trust him. We have to get out of our own way, our own thought, our own mindsets, and truly trust our father because he's good and he's good all the time. So I pray that this word bless you guys. If you guys love this word, so into it. I say that. I've been saying this lately because God has been leading me to say that. But I, like I always say, I do not ask for anything, you guys. God is good. He is so gracious in my life. And I'm just seeing so many pieces move. And it's a blessing to be a blessing to you guys. And so I love you guys. And I'll talk to you guys soon.